Hey everybody, welcome back from summer break. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and I'm here with a channel update for you of sorts. Um, I haven't done a whole lot over the summer. I got really busy with some things, uh, and uh, I really didn't put out a whole lot of videos. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that. I didn't mean to let you down. But I'm really happy to see that the vast majority of you have hung in there and you're waiting for me to produce not really this video, but the next few that I'm about to tell you about. So uh, a couple things that I want to cover coming up would be, one, an H3H3 H3 lawsuit update. I know there's been a couple updates from other channels, but there really haven't been, hasn't been too much coverage, and that's mostly because there really hasn't been a whole lot going on with the lawsuit. There was a motion to dismiss filed, but then the parties agreed to convert that to a summary judgment motion, which happens at a different stage of trial. So we still have to go forward with some kind of something or other, and we haven't seen quite what that's going to be yet. I'll go into a video, I'll do a video of, uh, of exactly what that's going to involve, what it, how it could play out, how it could end real quickly, how it could take years and how it could exhaust a whole lot of uh, resources, money, uh, even if uh, the, e even if you know the, the parties, even if ultimately Ethan and Hila are, are innocent, it could still cost everyone a lot of money and a lot of time. Uh, also, you get to see a little bit about how the court process really does take uh, a really long time. You'd think that a simple a, a, a dispute like this filed in, what was it, April, would be over by now. A judge should easily be able to see what the problem is here, and I should easily be able to speak English as a 36-year-old man. But not everything that we want happens. So. Uh, the, the, the long arm of justice is slow, or the, the process of justice is slow, and it'll take some time for that to, to work its way out. The last simple trial that I had like that over a YouTube video still took a year and a half, and we, uh, not settled, but we f finished the thing in arbitration, didn't even go to a trial. Uh, second, YouTube has apparently changed their content policy, and everyone is all up in arms. And I'll talk a little bit about that, too. Uh, there are some things to be concerned about, but ultimately YouTube wants to have the power to decide what it can put on its website. And if it changes the policy and doesn't talk about it properly, yeah, that sounds a lot like a bad relationship, but uh, we kind of all have to deal with it. I, too, wrote a, a little letter to YouTube since I have uh, over 1,000 subscribers, and I got a very... Um, vague and cryptic response uh, that, that I'll talk about that I think is actually a lot more telling than, than it seems on its face. Uh, also, I spent some time at the uh, YouTube uh, creator space in uh, Chelsea in New York City here and had a wonderful experience and I'm looking forward to using some of the things that I learned to make content for you, engage you more, and uh, uh, be more uh, responsible with my schedule here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for keeping up with, um, for keeping me subscribed, uh, and have a, uh, a wonderful end of your summer. I'll see you. Oh yeah, did I go into a schedule? I didn't go into a schedule. How am I supposed to do this if I didn't go into a schedule? Um, I'm going to commit to w at least one video a week. I know originally I said it would be one or two a month, and then I did a few, and then I didn't do a few for a few months, and then I suddenly did one. Yada yada yada. You guys can look at my my list. But anyway, um, I'm going to commit to one video a week, and the release schedule will be on Mondays. I don't think I can commit to this Monday, because I got wrapped up in yet another... This is what happens to me, is I get wrapped up in little side projects that end up taking all of my spare time. And so what I'm doing now is I'm going to take some of that uh, spare time and, and set it aside as time for, for making um, more content for you. and. Um, making that content higher quality. I don't, I'm not, I'm not good with After Effects, I'm not the greatest editor in the world, you may have noticed, but I, I, I like photography and video, um, just as much as I'm interested in other types of engineering and physics and creativity, and we're going to talk all about that on this channel, that's the plan. Thank you for watching, I'm Leonard French, have a uh, wonderful day.